Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A very quiet morning, a very cold morning as well. We'll be talking a little bit more about what we can see for the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. If you have any plans for outdoors, it is going to be a chilly one out there. We're not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of change coming up with temperatures. Some brief changes, yes, but not really doing too bad out there. But as of right now, we're just seeing, again, little, if anything, taking place in the way of major amounts of problems. Plenty of sunshine across the Mid-South and looking again at the TDOT Smartway cameras out there uh, for this morning, we have again, we had some backups taking place uh, in and around the interstate system. We are not seeing that as of right now. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're watching on Periscope, welcome to the show this morning and also on Twitter as well. Welcoming in everybody for this morning to again, if you have any questions or ideas about the forecast, again, wherever you are, give us a look location and also a report on temperatures just to see again who's out there for today and welcoming everybody uh, into the show for early this morning. Again, if you're just dropping by, we cover the areas of East Arkansas, West Tennessee and into and around portions of northern Mississippi with Memphis and Shelby County right there in the middle. Watching on Periscope and Twitter, again, the view from our studio camera from my GoPro right here. Information about where to send information to right here at austin.onic at wrag.com. And of course, information about our websites available here. Complete forecast scrolling down toward the bottom of your screen if you'd like to see more information available there with the forecast if you can't stick around for the whole thing. We are live and direct on Facebook now as well on my my own Facebook page, That Boy Fonso. Welcome to the show on Periscope. Thanks for joining us this morning, and thanks to everybody for stopping by on uh, Facebook at this time. We're showing the TDOT Smartway camera. We're looking back toward the area around I-240 and Airways Boulevard. This is the westbound lanes, eastbound lanes down here, just past the Mill Branch exit, and there was a pretty good backup just a little while ago due to a multi-car accident at I-240 and Airways. That's not there anymore. The cleanup has already taken place, and everything looks like it's gotten pretty much back to normal at this time. And so far, as of about 9 o'clock, Sunday morning, we do not have anything going on uh, in the way of backup, so definitely good news on that if you are going to be traveling through the course of the rest of the day. Welcome to the show. Apologies. I think the computer's reset on the wrong time there, but we're seeing again some uh, problems with that. Not seeing anything in the way of earthquakes across the Mid-South. Yes, if you want to get nitpicky, there is nothing going on in the way of a connection between weather and earthquakes, but we like to feature this information as much as possible because of the fact that we live very close to that New Madrid fault line. So again, something we like to keep track of right there. There was about a 2.3 earthquake about Monday or Tuesday morning at about 1.15 in the morning, right up around Blytheville in extreme northeastern Arkansas. If you felt that earlier this this week, the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis would like to know more about it. So go to earthquakes.usgs.gov or go to memphis.edu slash CERI to find out more and about how you can participate in what's called citizen science. You don't have to have a PhD to participate in some studies out there. And in fact, the more data the scientists get from the public, the more they know about how earthquake energy goes throughout the crust of the earth and how we might someday be able to predict them. But we need more data and you can help provide that. So if you'd like to do that, again, fill out the reports. Uh, the Did You Feel It reports is what they're called. And again, great opportunity to learn more. And we'll feature more about this coming up over the next several days and weeks. Downtown Memphis, again from a cotton exchange camera, showing again some fairly quiet conditions out there. Not that much to show you in the way of cloud cover. Looking out to the south over Front Street, Main Street, and eventually into the area around Riverside Drive. Looking out over the Mississippi River, Beale Street Landing, Tom Lee Park, and back across into around eastern Arkansas this morning. Traffic on I-55 and I-40 moving along pretty well at this point in time. Germantown from the area just north of Germantown High School, Poplar Pike, and Germantown Road right here back toward the towers of East Memphis. Temperatures this morning warming up nicely thanks to that sunshine, mid to upper 30s. You were down in the upper 20s just about an hour and a half ago and a little breezy out there. Wind chills in Germantown in the lower 30s. Getting, again, some loss of data from Ole Miss, but a very quiet campus right now in Oxford with plenty of sunshine early Sunday morning as things are decently quiet for the time being and should remain so throughout the rest of the day. Live view of our Hilton East Memphis camera. Traffic is moving along. 
pretty well so far. We're not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of problems out there just yet. Major fire yesterday, vehicle fire in and around the area around Poplar and 240, but that has well since cleared up at this point in time. Thanks to my daughter, Emma, for calling that into the newsroom yesterday. Delays at Memphis International Airport, live view from our 240 and Airways camera. Thank you, News Channel 3 engineering staff, for getting this all fixed for the time being. And looking again at not too much in the way of delays taking place uh, for right now. Nancy Sperryberry Henry, if I'm reading that correctly, good morning to you. And Pam Flowers, good morning as well on Facebook, and thanks for joining us out there. No delays to report right now, at least delays of 15 minutes or less, according to the FAA. And so far, not seeing any delays major at connecting airports across the continental United States. Storm system is gone. No more snow around Teterboro, LaGuardia toward Newark and Washington, some slowdowns yesterday because of that storm system. The main thing that the FAA is looking at for today is mainly going to be around the Los Angeles area with Santa Ana winds and the smoke and debris out there, new wildfires popping up with some very low humidity, very good for the development of more wildfires out there. The smoke could cause some visibility problems, so if you're traveling to L.A. or San Diego, could be some slowdowns out in that general area, so please, again, be advised that there could be some problems there. More information, this data available for you at fly.faa.gov. Currently on Storm Tracker 3S radar, flocks of birds dropping down the Mississippi Valley. Not much more than that at this time. The storm system from the last couple of days, it's gone back toward the Canadian Maritimes and heading out to sea at this point. We do have what's called an Alberta Clipper. Fast-moving, very tightly compact storm system that races along, kind of like the sailing ships of old from a long time ago. We do see, again, that storm system causing some more snowfall into around the Great Lakes from the upper peninsula of Michigan back down through the rest of the Great Lakes. This is not satellite. This is radar detecting snowfall coming in off the Great Lakes. The water temperatures of the Great Lakes are much warmer than the air above it. The air picks up that moisture, drops it on the other side of the lake, on the leeward side, and that's where we see, again, the snow showers taking place from Buffalo down to Cleveland into around Michigan and back into southeast Canada, picking up some decent amounts of snow showers for right now. So that could be a bit of a slowdown out there for later on this morning. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3 were in the upper 30s, the warmest spot we could find at U of M Earth Sciences. You can get this information on your computer at wrag.com slash weather and click on the weather bug section. This is all part of the weather bug network. Great opportunity to learn more about what it looks like out there. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on. Through the rest of the day, moving lines on screen, that's the winds coming in from out of the southwest. Very breezy today, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Not enough for a wind advisory, but with temperatures only in the upper 40s to lower 50s, add in a 10 to 15 mile per hour breeze. It's going to be decently chilly today, so the kids, even though it looks sunny out there and the temperatures are going to be back in the lower 50s, jacket will be a good idea, or even keep that light coat handy just to be on the safe side. That'll be a very good idea for later on. Heading into tonight, temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10 on the late edition in the upper 30s to the lower 40s, and then getting into around the rest of the forecast toward tomorrow morning with News Channel 3's Todd Demers briefly into the lower to mid 30s out there. D. Roos Ro Rose from Periscope, thank you very much for joining us uh, for this morning and also everybody else showing up on Facebook right now. Lower 50s for today. Again, not doing too bad for this time of the year. Warmer than yesterday, cooler than normal, back in the lower 60s for tomorrow. Sounds good? Great. Glad you're enjoying the weather, but hang on for a second as that new cold front comes on through. Mid to upper 40s again by Tuesday, so a big drop in the temperature. The cold front arrives late Monday evening into early Tuesday morning, and it's going to be a chilly Tuesday. Recovering a little bit of the temperatures on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and as we head toward next weekend, this is going to be our best chance of rainfall. Not seeing anything in the way of thunderstorms, too warm for anything but rain, no snow expected. So if you're looking for snow showers out there, sorry about that. And some fairly pitifully small chances of rain out there, just not looking at a lot. Now this will change over the next several days, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on this. The main thing we're going to be looking for for right now, National Weather Service in Little Rock is showing a large increase in drought conditions across the southwest corner of the state. Now, if we get into some very dry air, the cold front arriving here, little if anything in the way of moisture with this, even in atmospheric moisture to say nothing about rain and hardly anything about cloud cover, 
rest of this week could leach a lot of moisture away from the plants, the weeds especially, and some of the smaller trees. So we could see some more burn bans going up for Arkansas, maybe for Mississippi. Ten Mississippi, Tennessee does not issue burn bans specifically unless we get into a pretty extraordinarily dry situation, but they still can be issued. And if they are, keep it tuned to the weather experts. We'll keep you updated on that. So wildfire danger could be a problem in the next few days. We'll let you know about that as often as we can as we go throughout the rest of the next few days. Very quiet. This is going to be a very short update. Unfortunately, there's not really a lot going on at this time, but if there's something on here you would like to see, please let us know. We'd love to be able to feature stuff on here that you would like to be able to take a look at. Uh, Fescular SE4, welcome to the show on Periscope. Thanks for dropping on by and everybody else on Facebook for right now. Rest of the day today, again, looks pretty quiet. Not a lot going on at this time. So again, if you have weather pictures, we'll take them, tweet them to me, or email them as well. And then also, again, give us some more information about where you're from and where the pictures are being taken. We'd love to feature them on our newscast or on netcast like this. We don't have too many new ones out there for this morning, so we don't have too many more to show you for right now. We'll be on a little late thanks to NFL on CBS, so we'll probably be on our Anytime channel at about 5.30 with an update with Kristen Holloway. Uh, the news desk and Mike Sadie will have more on sports coming up on News Channel 3 later on tonight. And of course, we'll be on with the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. Join Todd Demers with your complete forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That'll do it from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for everybody for joining us on the area of weather. And if you have any concerns or anything like that, if you're watching on Periscope, email address right there at austin.onik at wreg.com. Live and direct from downtown Memphis. Thanks to everybody for tuning in for our latest video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online.